When I first got into the warehouse, I rented a 2016 V-Dub transporter and it had a big issue. It was way too nice. I didn't want to just chuck things into it. You didn't want to get the interior dirty. You didn't want to scratch it, which sucked because vans are so easy to dent and damage with those big thin panels. No fun at all. I wanted a wheelbarrow with an engine. I wanted the car equivalent of a work mule. So I embarked on a noble quest to find the worst looking van I could. Vans ain't easy to find right now, because as long as they start, move, and the doors lock, they're useful to tradies. But walking down a side street, I found the most beautiful machine I'd ever seen. Isn't it gorgeous? The tradie patina is perfect. It started great, James took it for a test drive, and it was for oh, even the aircon blows ice cold. It's just insanely gross. In the end, we agreed on a price, and only after paying did it make this noise. Dude, the, the reflector's leaking, man. You've sold us a piece of junk. This is gonna be a great van. So why did I want this thrashed old idiot with over 400,000 kilometers on it? Well, having a nice car means you have to watch where you park. If it's hailing, you need to cover it. If you're driving behind a truck, you have to watch for stone chips. In a dirty old van, you are invincible. If people leave trolleys in car park spaces, you just bump them out the way. But it's gross, and I hate sitting in it. We've got a pet spider. There she goes. We ripped out everything. And oh boy, just look at that tradie mess. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh no. James was vacuuming while I thought, well, stuff that, I'm literally going to mop this. It needed full-blown disinfecting. And this is my last chance to clean on here because I wanted to fill it with marine carpet as it's tough. And then James went one level and went two-tone blue and black. Fun fact, James's actual profession is as a master mechanic and car restorer. I could you tell? Like, wow, James, it's a brand new van in here. Everyone needs a James. Here's how we look for a bolt hole. I've got a photo that shows me it's roughly around here. And then... Do this for several years. Oh, there it is. These seats are awful! Years of sausage roll farts, durry smoke, unwashed tracky dacks and footy boots. Ugh. I believe the washer didn't take this out. Like, what a crappy washer. Look, it did nothing for this. Oh, um, are you kidding me? And oh man, it's got a classy Sony CD unit. I quite like these, and it even has Jamiroquai in it. Let me show you. Jamiroquai is jammed. Jamir... Oh no. No. No, this was the best part about it. Oh no! Jamiroquai is stuck in there, guys. Just... This is, this is not good for CDs. Okay, it doesn't eject anymore. <laughs> oh man, this thing built great. I took out two screws and watch this. Rock and roll. Developing scenario. There were never any screws holding in that head unit. <laughs> None. <laughs> oh, I love this van. Top tip for these cargo cages, like get some UV resistant clear plastic and cover it. So when you have the aircon on or the heater or something, it only cools the part that you're sitting in. Huge difference in comfort and it keeps the smell out. But hey, mechanically on this old donkey, James had a look over it, and hey, it's got a new steering rack. And like, even the dealer said that they swapped another motor in it. Cause you know, it starts awesome, and there are no mechanical issues at all. None, except for the rear differential trying to die. As James put it, it's not making helicopter noises yet, so it's fine to worry about it. But it means we can't be too hard on the old girl. Uh, also, the gearbox isn't happy. <laughs> it holds gears for too long and overdrive doesn't seem to work. And it, it, again, we have to be kind to the drivetrain. But wow, look at the inside now. 
I seat covers hide the shame, but at least the seats are disinfected and clean underneath. Legit, with all the carpet and padding, like, it is silent in here. I now this, legit, this is my favorite car to drive. Ice cold aircon, clean quiet cabin, high driving position, awful, awful fuel economy, broken CD player, and a whining differential. What more could I want? I really wanted this because I'm moving a lot of vintage drums around at the moment. Having a padded box like this is so good. Nothing slides around, nothing gets scratched and damaged. What a glow up. It's the donkey van. It's my little mule. It's genuinely a great little find. I'll give it three months before it explodes.